Rice and Crump Manufacturing Company, builders of mechanical and hydraulic press brakes, straight side type presses, tangent benders, hand and power apron brakes, and dies for all standard and special applications sold under the registered trade name Chicago, presents special applications of Chicago steel press brakes and straight side type presses. In the Dreisen Crump plant at 7400 South Loomis Boulevard in Chicago, a test run is made on a 330 ton mechanical press brake, model 710D. This press brake has an overall bending length of 14 feet, 6 inch stroke and 2 speed gearing. The bed and ram are machined for mounting angles. In this forming operation, the machine is set on low speed for ease in handling wide plates. A 90 degree bend is being formed on a 3 quarter inch thick steel plate eight feet long over a female die having a six inch opening. This operation demonstrates one of many normal uses of standard press brakes. The same model 710D 330 ton press brake is easily converted to various special applications by mounting front and rear removable bed and ram angles. These angles support a wide die set making it possible to perform the punching and drawing operation shown here. Nine holes are punched and a stiffening rib is drawn at each stroke. Special applications of Chicago press brakes and straight side type presses are limited only by the creative imagination of the people using them. The Hussman Refrigerator Company in their three plants in St. Louis, Missouri uses our machines for forming, punching, blanking and notching on the many sheet metal parts that enter into the construction of refrigerators and other units for food stores. The parts you will see being formed, punched, blanked and notched are assembled into many finished products including these refrigeration display and counter units shown here in their sales room. The Hussman Refrigerator Company has 38 of our machines in their Taylor Avenue plant. In this Taylor Avenue plant is a 240 ton press with a die area of 5 feet by 14 feet here, cooler shelves and display partitions are punched and notched. This is a good illustration of the advantages of Chicago straight side type presses, giving extremely large die area without excessive tonnage capacity, weight, size, or initial cost. This 115 ton Chicago press brake, model 4510D, has a distance between housings of 10 and a half feet and an overall bending length of 12 feet. This machine can be used for regular press brake forming operations. For greater versatility, it was furnished with removable wide angle supports to perform additional operations such as the punching and notching shown here. The bed and ram angles support two large die sets. With two men, two operations are performed on a refrigerator shelf with each stroke of the machine. At the right, 14 holes are punched and the four corners notched. At the left, a channel die forms two 90 degree end flanges. The sheet is 49 inches by 19 inches 22 gauge cold roll steel. At the Leffingwell Street plant, we see a 450 ton capacity Chicago steel press brake model 812D, distance between housings 12 and a half feet and overall bending length 16 feet. This machine was also furnished with removable bed and ram angles for supporting the large die set measuring two and a half feet front to back by 16 and a half feet left to right. In two strokes, the machine is punching 31 various size holes in an angle for top mirror slide on a refrigerator. With a two station die set, part of the holes are punched on the first stroke. Then the strip is moved to the front for the second stroke, completing the operation. The strip is 16 gauge cold roll steel, 5 inches wide and 12 feet long. Note the punching is done by using easily adjustable and removable units. Here is one of the many Chicago straight side type presses at the Hussman Refrigerator Company. This is a 240 ton capacity model 614 DSS press with a die area of 14 and a half feet left to right and five feet front to back. To punch and notch this long wide 22 gauge corner panel for cooler sections, a machine having relatively low tonnage capacity, extra large die area and long box gibbing is required. The four corners and two V's on each end of the sheet are notched and five holes and two two and an eighth inch diameter knockouts are punched. 
The side and end flanges are then formed on another Chicago press brake. At the General Electric Company, General Purpose Control Department, Bloomington, Illinois, Chicago straight side type presses and tangent benders are used in the complete fabricating of various sizes of General Electric magnetic starter cases. Chicago straight side type presses and tangent benders are used for the punching, notching, and forming operations of the front and back covers and side plates of these finished electrical starter cases. Here you see a 240 ton capacity Chicago press with a bed and ram die area of 4 feet by 4 feet. It has a 2 inch stroke and operates at 70 strokes per minute. Standard equipment furnished on all Chicago straight side type presses include micrometer ram adjustment indicators, full automatic anti-repeat clutch control with selector switch to provide the operator with four different settings of machine operation, inching, long, short and continuous, air clutch for maximum efficiency and minimum maintenance, ram air counterbalance cylinders for smoother operation, long four-point gibbing assuring permanent alignment of ram, non-metallic ram liners for minimum wear, eliminating scoring of the ways, brake type ram adjustment motor complete with up-down push button station and switch for limiting the amount of ram adjustment, gearbox enclosing high-speed herringbone gears running in oil bath, air brake for instantaneous stopping of ram and automatic lubricating system. Also included as a standard feature, if required, are openings in side frames for automatic feeds or accessibility to the die area. On this machine, where the material is fed from the rear, a yellow safety gate was installed to close the opening. This 240-ton capacity Chicago straight side press, running at 70 strokes per minute, is part of a fully automated line. It blanks, notches, stamps knockouts, cuts off, and forms the side plates for one of six different sizes of magnetic starter cases. The finished pieces are ejected from the front of the machine at a rate of 4200 per hour. This is a 330 ton capacity Chicago straight side type press with a die area of three and a half feet by twelve and a half feet and has a four and a half inch stroke. The part being fabricated is the back cover for one of the General Electric magnetic starter cases. The material is .043 inches cold roll steel, 12 and 7 eighths inches long and 7 inches wide. Fed from the coil stock through the stock straightener and roll feed and then through progressive stages in the press where over 40 operations are performed to pierce, notch, lance, flatten, cut off, form the quarter inch edges and then eject. The lengths of these covers vary from 9 inches to 27 inches for the different sizes of boxes. The entire front die opening is protected by a wide area curtain of light so that if a hand or any object approaches the operating area, the machine stops instantly. Also, if the part being fed does not come up to the stop, if the ejector does not clear the finished piece from the forming die, or if the piece is not discharged down the chute, the whole operation comes to a stop thus protecting the machine and the dies. All sizes of the front and back covers are formed to 90 degree U-bends with wrinkle-free flanges in a Chicago double wing tangent bender. Individual punch and die units are removed and added to the die plate to produce modifications. In changing from one size cover plate to another, the die plate with all punches is removed as a unit. A complete setup for the next size is substituted. The necessary changes in the cutoff die and ejector section are easily made so that the complete change from one size to another is accomplished with minimum press downtime. Here in the Hot Point Company, Chicago Range Plant, is a single crank straight side press designed to meet our customer specifications for a special application. This machine was built with extra high die space of 39 inches to accommodate oven liners used in hot point ranges. This model 5532 is one of several in this customer's plant. The press is used to flatten the front flange and form the bead on the outside edge of the oven liner flange. For easy loading and removal of liner, the die is made in two sections, a stationary rear section and an air operated hinged front section.
We now move to the plant of one of the largest manufacturers of agricultural chain, the Chain Belt Company in Dalton, Illinois. Their product is used on a great variety of farm implements, such as this corn picker. This model 630 single crank straight side press is one of a battery of Chicago presses used to produce all sizes of agricultural chain. The product being manufactured is their number 62P detachable link chain. The coil stock at the right is one and nine sixteenths inches wide and five thirty seconds inches thick, special 1030 carbon steel. From the reel at the right, the stock passes through a roll straightener and is automatically fed to the five step die where the center is lanced and the lance is rolled back to form the barrel around the pin end of the next link. The manufacture of this chain is unique. Every bit of the coil stock material is being used in producing the chain. Here are the operations in the five-step progressive die. Scoring, lancing, forming, and swedging. Cut off and curling. As you can see, no material is being scrapped in any of the operations. Watch the workpiece move progressively in the die. Your attention is directed to the reverse motion of the material at the last station just before the lance is being curled around the pin of the partially fabricated link following it. As each link is formed, it advances and the chain is wound automatically on the spool, as shown here. The operation is entirely automatic, forming 72 links, or approximately 7 feet of assembled chain, every minute. The finished chain is then heat treated, water quenched, and drawn, after which it is tested for strength of 4,000 pounds. We are now pleased to show you another unusual application of a Chicago press brake. This is a model 456D Chicago press brake with a capacity of 115 tons. It has a permanently flanged bed and ram giving a die area of 18 inches by 78 inches. At each stroke, the machine punches two rows of three 30 seconds inch diameter holes clear across the four foot width of the board. The material is 1 8 inch thick standard smooth coat perforite and used for decorative paneling. The automatic progressive feed table accurately feeds the board a half an inch at each stroke. We intentionally ask the operator to keep his hand on the board so you can see movement of the feed table. The press brake operates at 60 strokes per minute, punching 190 holes per stroke. The floor to floor time, including handling the board, is a little less than four minutes. This is one of the many patterns of perforated boards handled on this machine. In each board, there are approximately 36,800 holes. The highlighted area measures four inches by four inches. Smart tooling on plate and sheet metal fabricating equipment is the best way to modernize for lower cost and increased production of fabricated sheet metal products for both standard and special applications.